Okay. Welcome to class. This is a Sunday morning. I'm on the East Coast. And I'm going to give you a taste of dance that I, as I know it to be. So I'll start by taking a breath in and a breath out. You all in. Feel the ground beneath your feet, the bones of your foot. And you realize you're at home. Feel the horizon. Your materiality. You are form. The earth in your stomach being transformed. You can make some circles on your stomach. Open your hands. The moon is void, of course. You can make this a good time for transformations. And the stomach is the organ responsible for transformation and transportation of food. Feel the earth under your feet. Massage the bottom of your foot. Walk forward in space and until you can't anymore and you are forced to spiral. In the spiral opens up so many different possible directions from the straight sagittal plane feel the straight sagittal plane Combine with the earth of the feet, the forward body, identity, the outline of your body, and come back to the earth. Feel the earth under your feet, all the meridian points that absorb the earth on the bottom of your foot. Feel the kidney. The lungs, the heart, feel your hands, the 
be an airplane. Your heart. Your heart lies. Mm. Mm. Hang down. Breathe out. Bend your legs slightly. Have your hands touch the ground. Feel the earth. Your bones are like spirals, like the sound of a shell. Slowly roll up. Your center of gravity changes. Back to normal. Now we can just warm up our wrists a little bit. On a snowy day. Lord. Oh. Breathe in. Relax your jaw, your forehead, Reach for the sky, stretch your arms in this direction, your feet are rooted to the ground, but your arms reach up, your feet are rooted to the ground, like in, they're in the soil and the mud and the earth, each bone. Convex shape of a bone. And your arms stretch up. Feel the tendons stretch. And touch the air above your head. Your top of your head, and then um, interlace your fingers and stretch up, and then bend to the right and feel side body stretch. Your Your hips are still 
parallel. Come aware of your the structure of the pelvis, right? And the the ovaries and the groin area. And then lean to the left. Can look up a little bit. Feel the blood stretch on your right side. And come down. Now let's change. Now just feel your hands and move around in the space. Engage your thighs. Take some steps. And loosen your wrists again. Now, let's just do some hip rotation around. You can have your hands on your lower back. Or right beside you. It's something more blood flowing, so we're just gonna do this. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, hands up and stand on your toes. And breathe out your arms back and end up on your heels. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Really feel yourself breathing in, holding the air, and then letting the, letting the air out. Rotate your neck a bit, round in circles, now make some more circles, now you're, it's not your neck, now your nose leading the movement, small place, bigger place, bigger place circles. Relax your jaw. What do you, what can you hear? Go the other way. Small circles leading with your nose. Bigger. Bigger, bigger, breathing, breathing out. We're going to do some light tapping. Um, this is from Qigong. Start your pelvis. This is your lower Dantian in Chinese medicine, your lower energy center. 
So I'm going to do some tapping and then for, I want to focus on the back, um, the uh, place right behind your heart, kind of, your shoulder blade area. And just feel your energy in your lower dantian. Feel your, how it's connected to your lower back. Again, kind of grounding. How does your reproductive system feel? Your ovaries relax. Relax your jaw too. I always feel like the jaw is connected to the um, the pelvis area somehow. Now just to warm up, gently tap with the right arm going up. Feel the energy going up, lifting your up, lifting your chest up. Tap a little bit right here. And continue right um your on the top of your chest. And go out towards your shoulder. You can stay a little bit at the crevice between the chest and the arm. Maybe cup your hand like this, like a beak, and tap the beak right in the crevice. Breathe. Feel your lower back relaxing. The, the spine, each vertebra on top of it, the other going down. You can bend your, your chin a little bit. So feel like where the skull rests on the vertebra. And then go out on your arm, the inside. Continue tapping all the way across the palm of your hand and the fingers. And then all back on the back of your hand, the back of your hand, over your wrist, and up the back of your arm. And we go, so now we start back at the energy center. One of the energy centers, we also have your heart and your brain. Go all the way up. And then out to And then we're gonna go underneath. Yay, under the armpit. 
tap 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 and go down the body now we will do the other side tap 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 Don't forget the back of your shoulder, back of your shoulder. And back. And again. Up. Your body. And then under your elbow, under your armpit. And down. The wrists again. And then the lower back. Tap, tap, tap. Side of your leg. Onto your feet and then up the inside of your leg. And do that again. Tap on the kind of inside of your thigh and on top of your thigh. Side up, inside, top, inside, 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 top, inside, top, inside, top, inside, top, And then we're going to just rotate the ankles to the right and to the left. Another foot to the right and to the left. Now I want us to sit down on the floor. I'm going to get my yoga mat. So, down to the floor.
and just uh, kind of swing from side to side. Look from look to side from side to side. Feel like you're kind of like a clock or go from left to right. The center of gravity change your perspective has changed. Hi, Rose. So right now, welcome. Feel free to, yeah. Um, unmute if you want to say anything but otherwise we're you're just we're just sitting on a mat on the floor so on the floor and we're yeah it's going from side to side Your, yeah. You can bend over slightly and go around in a circle. We'll go the other way. Now take I take, take stock. How does that make you feel? Now we're going to do some cat cows. Let's so get on all fours, tabletop position. Look up and feel your. And as, as you breathe in, bring your belly button down. And then breathe out. Very well then up. Your shoulder blade. Arch down. 
Breathe in. Your shoulder blades go back. And your chest is up. That was right in. Down. And reverse. Breathe in. And we'll come down to child's pose. Great time to really feel the ground. What does it mean to be grounded to you? Does it fill you with joy? Feel how the earthiness goes up into your whole body, into your muscles. Sit up slowly. Feel the space around you gently. Each air particle. It's Earth, too. You know how 
luckier to be in a warm space. You are warm. You are the space around you. How does it change? How does it change from before to after? Oh. How do you want to cook? Go live the space around you. What do you want to shape it? How do you want it to feel? I keep yawning. Ooh. Ooh. Stretching. You make sound. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. Jump up. Man, tension behind this workout. I don't know. But for the rest of this class, what we're going to do, it's over in about 20 minutes. It's over at 12.45. Is we're going to Think about movement and transition, going from one place to another, leaving and coming. Right now I'm leaning on the sofa bed. You can lean on things, you can press away, feel your weight, you know, your objecthood. Um, and how that object hood also is muscle and how the muscle can generate a force. And has a direction. And a velocity. So I'm going to materiality to Movement and movement as transportation and you know so like standing up and then going down any you know inspiration by in this class my main inspiration one of my main inspirationals when it comes to dance is K. K. J. Holmes. K. J. Holmes. 
Um, she teaches a class every Saturday morning. 11 to 1, if you want to go, let me know, I'll invite you. It's free. Find it online, lovemyresearch.com. But yeah, it's called Athletics of NSC, so it's, yeah. But anyway, so, um, I left that conversation and I go to something else. So, think about, yeah, like moving, changing direction, sitting down, climbing up. Um, being small, being big. Looking up, looking down. Feeling your tippy toes, feeling your heels. Going off camera, going on camera. Hugging. You could be anything you want. If you could give be your give be a color or be a thing, what would you be? You would wear everything that you wanted right now. What would you wear? Hmm. Change your center of gravity. Put your head down. Put your head up. Slowly. Put your ear towards the ground. And come up with the other ear towards the ground. Come up. Make a dance that's called Melt the Snow Dance. Are you generating fire? Heat up the air particles. Melt the air. yourself. Under the ground. You're a mess. Oppose gravity. And then uh, remember gravity. Come down. Think about the parts of your body, the ones that might hurt, they may hurt. Heal yourself. Stretch. A stretch is gratitude. Stretch is graciousness. Stretch is family. Stretch as Jupiter. Stretch is growth. Go forward. Open your heart. 
Think about the colors of your movement. Move is green. Smile. Relax your jaw. Envision a green light in your forehead. Streaming into your forehead. hands, they say what I say, you know, talking, Where are you? Feel the sky. The earth. With every part of your body makes the earth the atmosphere of your elbow. Change up the air in front of your face. You imagine you're a seed and you plant yourself into the earth with your hands making a space. You are a panther. What is the space you've now created for yourself? Can you walk in it? To dance for yourself, for your space, yes, 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 for expanded space, the space of friendship, literally memory. Body is warmer now than before. Hawker, 
offer something. Here. Give it to her. Give it. Give it away. How does it feel to give something of yourself to someone? How does it feel? And then come back to yourself. Hold it in. It's your, it's mine. What's yours? It's mine. You need to walk. Who is this? What's this? <laughs> what is this? Who's this? What is this shit? Who is this? <laughs> Speak. <laughs> You come into the party. You come into the party. Yeah. You come into the party. You come into the party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Who can this be today? Who can this be today? And shake Put your feet on the floor. Shake, shake. Mm. Wow. Yeah, man. Shake thoroughly. Shake like every piece of yourself. Like shake your head, the fat on your skull, the, your shoulder. Let it all jump, jump, jump. And your lower back a little bit lax is enough to also. Shake, but keep your thighs engaged, but also let the back there shake. Relax your jaw. To the left, to the right, go down.
Ej, anda, anda. Look how many places you can go. Uh, which part of your body has a home in the physical world? In your house. feel more open. How do you feel? Take a few moments to render what you just experienced, what you are experiencing. Maybe touch your body, touch yourself to get to know what you are. So, a little sound escape I learned from Samita Sinai. Sinai. She taught teaches a class upcoming one in a couple weeks but it's um it's sound I swear what class is over it was a one hour class. Hope to see you next time. Turning off the Zoom. And Okay, the class is now over again, and um, yeah, thank you. Take care. Thanks to everyone who's taught me this much, you know. Gracias a todos mis profesores. Thank you to all my teachers.